Hello, I want to welcome you to the God Principles Living in the Philippines. My name is Charles and I want to welcome you to my channel, The God Principles living in the Philippines. God stands for good orderly direction, living in the Philippines. I haven't been on the channel lately and living in the Philippines on a daily basis requires that sometimes I have to step back and take an inventory of what's going on. Because one of the things we have to, that I have to be concerned about is not falling into a state of depression loneliness or boredom so i came over here with a plan so that that's not going to happen august 18th was my birthday i've been here almost two years and so what i do every year is i take a month to take an inventory of my life to see where i'm at and i'm at a stage in my life where every day is a new day every day i didn't plan on being here in the philippines at this stage in my life but I'm very grateful that I am and as this has gone on I've came here with a plan to launch a YouTube channel to work on my digital marketing company and now after my assessment of what's going on I've had to make some decisions one of the decisions that I've come to is that the God principles living in the Philippines I started it off incorrectly I started it off on my feelings and I hadn't done the research to set it up correctly so that's being corrected if you notice here I got a green screen behind me I'm doing some other things and I'm gonna go over all the things that I'm working on because I have a plan and a goal and it's based on good orderly direction and following the instructions that I get from my spiritual connections. What I found is that my life is changing and that I've come up with some brilliant ideas, offer coaching for people trying to transition into a digital nomad lifestyle, but I've come across some other things. There are people struggling with other issues. If you notice, William hasn't been with me for a while. He was in America. He just came back. I don't know if he's going to continue uh, doing a joint broadcast because he had slowed down on his. If you notice, Michelle is not here. So what I'm seeing is, is that people are not committed and not persistent in their what they're trying to do. One of the ways that my life is different is because I follow tarot readings and I start my day out on tarot and I want to show that to you if I can get a second to bring it up yes here it is here it is give me a second I want to share screen the first one is, this is one of the tarot readings, readers that I follow every day. Her name is Sunshine. She is a Filipino tarot reader. She lives in New Zealand, but I was following her back in the States. And let's take a listen. I like to give credit to all of the content creators. This is Sunshine. She's a very good reader. And I was listening to her reading for me at the beginning of August and she was saying that it looks like I was fixing to step back from what was going on in my life and I was going to start changing how I looked, how I presented myself and that I was going to start exercising indoors instead of trying to go out there in that heat and I actually did that. That's why you haven't been seeing me. I've been rebranding, recreating my life here to fit where I'm at today. 
And as the result of that, I've been offering coaching services. As a matter of fact, I just finished a coaching session with a deaf person in the United States. His name is Jeff Ray. He's a diabetic and he wanted to get into affiliate marketing. But here's the thing, I had to coach him through video and a special app on the phone because he cannot hear. So I've had to step back from what was going on on YouTube because this took up a whole month of my time preparing sessions and lessons and then also meeting with him twice a week. I just completed that. But as the result of working with him, I've come up with some very, very exciting news and I wanna share them with you. This is the first one. One of the things that I have is I have a digital marketing agency and company back in the States. I came here in order to fulfill a dream to finish this business because I have learned that there's a divine timing to life. Like I learned that Colonel Sanders, he didn't become a billionaire until he was 65 years old. He had started his business, but it really didn't take off until there was divine timing in his life. And I'm gonna get to that too. So this is one of the businesses where I help people develop their personal brand. This is where I do the training sessions and everything else, but there's more. The next thing I did was, and I brought this up on the channel, that I've started the God Brew Crew. This is a blog and newsletter specifically devoted to men going through changes in life because William and I are certified recovery coaches and life coaching. He, he came here with, from the United States with his licensing. I came in here with my certifications of both in digital marketing and in life coaching services. And we've, I decided that I was gonna continue doing this from here. And he came here and I met him and he had some religious aspects that he's gonna be bringing out, I guess, I don't know. Because he went through some stuff and you have to go over to uh, Junie Lee and Williams Adventures if you want to see what's going on with that because they had stopped too. But if you see here, this is about thriving in health, wealth, and relationships. That I'm finding that there are men here in the Philippines and in America that are suffering with issues from those first world lifestyles. They come here, in the adjustment, you hear people talking about boredom and loneliness. Those are issues from that first world lifestyle. You have not learned to detox from them yet. When we live in that first world economy, we have all these demands on our life. And some people come here and we create them demands. Some of us come into a, do a minimal lifestyle and find out another level of freedom. Not only do we get financial freedom, we get a quality of life. The generation that I came from wants a quality lifestyle. It was never about the money and the property. We lived good and we made good money, but we had a quality lifestyle. We're not chasing money. We're not doing any of that. I did not come here to the Philippines in order to buy property and, and have this high pollutant lifestyle that kept me attached to doing things I didn't want to do. I had to work for others. Now I get to work for myself. And one of the things I had learned is that people chase happiness. And on my other channel, which I'm gonna to get to in a minute, I had learned something in life. I was watching Captain Hook with Robin Williams and Tinkerbell said, Peter, you could fly if you just remember your happy thought. And that struck me, it's like, hmm. That got me to pondering, it's like, and then when he remembered 
the birth of his son, his happy thought, he was able to fly. And I said, aha, that's the trick. Happiness is a thought. It is an inside job. That's going to be on my other channel, though. But I'm going to continue with this. The next thing is this one. This is the new channel. Soul Ignition. Real Charles K. Davis. You can subscribe to this also. Because this one is the one where I'm going to go more into the spirituality that I live. The tarot readings. The mystical lifestyle that I've been living since I was 18 years old. And these are things that I've learned over the time because we suffer from self-limiting belief systems. For example, in America, we call them the isms, ageism, racism, all these isms that put you in a box. I don't like being in a box. I, you know, I'm, I'm not a follower. I'm just not. I've always gone the opposite way of everyone else. And I'm finding that a lot of people want that kind of lifestyle, but they don't know that they're trapped by these belief systems, like thinking that America is a great place to live. It's okay, but I'm finding here in the Philippines there's another level of freedom. That brings me up to another section. Let's see if it's going to come up. Let's see. Let's see. I want to share this one. This channel is my business channel. It's called the Ultimate Brand Design Channel with Charles Davis. If you notice, I had to change the title of the God Principles to the God Principles Living in the Philippines because I wasn't getting the reach and the followers on that channel because I had put in the wrong thing in the title. That word God limits it what Google will show it to, but that's one of the things I learned. I'm going to continue to work on it. I'm going to continue to show you living in the Philippines, but I've also have these other channels that I'm bringing online because my personal life and my personal brand is much bigger than just living in the Philippines. Much bigger. As you can see here, one of the things that I was involved in in America was I was involved in non-profit advocacy. And right now, the elections in the states, and I don't vote, don't be putting nothing in the comments about Trump. Uh -uh. I haven't voted, voted since I was 26 years old. However, I do work in advocacy for special causes. And if you look here where it says who's running the campaign, that woman was a friend of mine. She lives in Chicago. And I've been interviewing people for my business channel because there are a lot of people living this digital nomad lifestyle in their 40s, 50s, and 60s. And a lot of people don't know that they, they can even do this. This is about a quality lifestyle. People want to know about this. But anyway, her name is Del Marie Cobb. I'm gonna suggest you go over and subscribe to this channel because she's worked on political campaigns. Those pictures, she was on Jesse Jackson's presidential campaign and she was on Hillary's presidential campaign. And she talked about what really goes on behind the scene. And she's an insider and she shared some stuff. It's like what you see going on in the media now, she talks about it. She talks about it because they didn't open up Pandora's box. These videos have shown that there's something wrong and that's gonna continue. So as you can see, I'm very active in my personal life. Am I chasing Philippines? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm make a separate video about that. That I don't want to waste my time doing things that are not going to cause me pain or not going anywhere. But that's a separate video. My name is Charles Davis. Click like and click share. In my description are going to be links to my other 
channels. It's going to be links to my other services. And if you have anything you want me to cover, leave it in the comments. <laughs> Thank you.